hello guys and thank you so much for stopping by my name is marion and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to crochet this baby girl skirt this one for is for a one year old but i will be giving you measurements of up to two years so that you can adjust the waist accordingly if you're new here please consider to subscribe to the channel and welcome so much to the family we are growing we are about to get to 10 K subscribers and i will appreciate you for subscribing thank you so much for being here let's get right into the video these are the materials that we're going to be using for this tutorial i'm using 100 percent acrylic robin yarn made in kenya this yarn is really thin so i will be doubling my strands to achieve medium weight so if you have any medium weight i recommend you to use that I have my pair of scissors to cut the hanging threads. I am going to be using a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. Uh, you can use that. And then I have my darning needle or yarn needle. I have my stitch markers. And lastly, I have my measuring tape to get my waist measurements. So for the measurements, for the waist measurements, a six to nine months old you will need 18.5 inches nine to 12 months you will need 19.5 inches 12 to 18 months you will need 20.5 inches and for an 18 to 24 month old kid you will use a 21 inches long waist these are waist measurements yeah so we are working with measurements for a nine to twelve the, the key that i'm making for is her first birthday so that is 12 months um we're going to do a chain long enough to fit 19.5 inches so you yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull up a loop you will do this until you have 19.5 inches or whichever measurements that you are using for your project So after shading, I have my 19 stretching to 19.5 inches. Now you should be having your desired uh, length for the chain. This is the waist we are working with. So we are going to line our chain, make it straight, and then we will connect the ends like this. After connecting the chain, we are going to we are going to chain two, one, two, and then in that very first that place that we just chained from, we are going to place our first double crochet. And we will make double crochets until we get to the end of this chain. So continue making double crochets in each and every chain until we get to the end.
As you can see, we are coming towards the end of this row. I'm left with a few stitches, just two. And then once you're done with the double crochets, you're going to insert your hook on top of that chain two and do a slip stitch. This is what you should be having at the end of this row. Now to continue to the next row, we're going to be chaining two. And then in that first stitch, we're going to make um, front post double crochet. In the next one, we will make a back post double crochet. Remember, we are working on a waist. So we are alternating between the front and the back post double crochets. Front. The next one is the back post. Front post. The next one is the back post. Be careful not to mix this up. Always remember it's a front post followed by a back post. And we were going to repeat this part until we get to the end of that row. At this point, we are approaching the end of the row. As you can see, I'm left with one stitch. And then once you're done, you're going to do a slip stitch on top of that chain two that we did at the beginning of the row. And you're done with that row. This is our waistband now. We're now going to start working on the body of this skirt. And to do that, we are going to chain two. So chain two. And then place your first double crochet in that first stitch. And then now we are going to work on gathers. We are working two double crochets in each and every stitch. So do two double crochets. That is the first one. And the second one in the same stitch. In each and every stitch around. So two double crochets. This will help us form the gathers on the skirt. I am coming towards the end of the row after placing two double crochets in each and every stitch from the previous row. And then now after we're done, we are going to place our slip stitch on top of that chain two from the first stitch to close that row. And this is what you should be having at this point. The gathers have formed and now we will continue working on the body. So we start with our chain two as always and then we will place our first double crochet in that first stitch where you just placed your chain two and then do your double crochet. And then we're going to place one double crochet in each and every stitch from the previous row. Remember the previous row we were placing two double crochets but this row we are placing just one double crochet. This row and the rows that are coming we are going to be doing one double crochet in each and every stitch.
I am coming towards the end of that row. I'm left with two stitches. So just that one and the next one. And now you, after you're done, you will place your stip, slip stitch on top of that chain two we started with. And you're done with that row. We're going to do this row for at least the length that you want. I want my skirt to be very, very small. So I'm going to do 10 uh, rows. But you can do as many as you want at this point. So after working, I have my uh rows you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i'm working on the tenth one and now you can see the that seam is straight like that and now we're going to complete this part this is just the very last row on that section before we do the mesh the beautiful mesh down there so we're still doing our double crochets, yeah? Just a single double crochet on top of each and every stitch from the previous row. You will do a slip stitch on top of chain two. And then we're going to start working on the mesh here. We're going to chain three and the third chain is acting as chain one. You will skip that first stitch and go into the next with a double crochet. There. You chain one, skip one stitch, go into the next with a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, go into the next with a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, go into the next with a double crochet. Chain one, skip one, go into the next stitch with a double crochet. Chain one, skip one stitch, go into the next with a double crochet. Chain one skip one go into the next with a double crochet this is what we're making the mesh stitch this is a detail at the bottom of this cut i love it so this is what you should be having continue working this mesh stitch until you get to the end of this row So after working that first row, I'm coming towards the end of it. Remember, we've just been chaining one, skipping one, and going into the next stitch with a double crochet. So I'm coming towards the end of the row. Make sure to chain one and then on to, in that very first space, you're going to do a slip stitch and you're done with that row. For the next one, we are going to also chain three and then go on top of the double crochet and do a double crochet. Chain one, skip the space, go on top of the double crochet and do a double crochet. Chain one, skip the space, go on top of the previous double crochet and do a double crochet. We're going to repeat this process and get until we get to the end of the row. We're coming towards the end of the row and I'm left with a few stitches, just chaining one, skipping one and on top of the next stitch we're placing a double crochet. Then chain one, make sure to chain one and then in that space you can place your 
slip stitch and you're done with that detail. Now the next part we're going to do the scalloped edge and after chaining one at that center of origin you're going to skip one space and go into the next space with four double crochets in total. And then once you're done with the four double crochets you will skip the next stitch and the next space and go on top of the next stitch do a single crochet and then in the next space we're going to do our four double crochets skip two stitches that is the double crochet the next space and on top of the next stitch you do a single crochet and in the next space we are doing four double crochets skip this the double crochet in the space in the next double crochet do a single crochet and then the next space do four double crochets this is what you should have as you go along and we're going to do this all across this row until we get to the point of origin I'm coming towards the end of that row now after working that single crochet we do our four double crochets in that space and once you're done with the four double crochets we are going to slip stitch on top of the first chain one that we did and then we chain one and we are done with this cut now you can cut the yarn and fasten off So at this point we are done with this cut. The only part that's remaining is getting a chain long enough to cover the waist of the baby. And I did a total of around 40 inches. And now I'm going to use this darning needle or rather yarn needle to weave it in. Just going over and under those uh, double crochet front and back loops. So after you're done, you're going to tie that end for it not to unravel. So you just fasten off and you're completely done. You can cut that yarn. The skirt is done. This is what we are having at the end of it. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Marion. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. It helps me grow. It helps us bring more tutorials. Until next time. Bye.